Utah's real estate is as diverse as its climates. From the summits of Park City all the way to the Red Rocks of St. George, Utah's real estate is bursting with character. Utahns love their real estate. But it's always evolving and changing, whether somebody wants to sell it or remodel it. This is Utah Real Estate Essentials. Well, it's just so fun. It's always a good time to look at Park City, especially when you can go up there and go skiing and enjoy that beautiful weather. And I've got Ross Brookham there with the Lawson team. Now I know you guys sell a ton of real estate up there. So tell me a little bit about this property uh, and uh, its location. Yeah, so this is a uh, really unique property. Uh, it's located in the woods of Parley's Lane, which is a, uh, it's a gated community that's kind of a hidden gem up here in Park City. Uh, basically, if you're heading up from Salt Lake, you've, at, the, at the top of Parley's Summit, you've got Summit Park on your right-hand side, and then on, on your left-hand side, you've got this little uh, private road that takes you to this uh, gate. And then you've got uh, the woods of Parley's Lane, which is this 192-acre community. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just really, really uh, tranquil and it's only 44 home sites here so it's really not too uh, condensed and it's just a really beautiful lifestyle community yeah and so as we go inside and start looking at inside of this property it's absolutely beautiful tell me about this yeah, so this home, they actually just completed uh, in time for the 2017 Parade of Homes. Uh, it's a Roger Knight construction, uh, really sort of mountain uh, contemporary open plan, uh, main level living concept, um, really uh, family friendly, but also, uh, you know, still has that very kind of high end entertaining focused floor plan. It's just a really, uh, really beautiful house. Yeah, so it looks like they've really set this up for, uh, you know, meeting with people and entertaining and stuff, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a beautiful kitchen, as you can see. And I noticed they've also got some beautiful views up here. What are you looking out on as you're, as you're looking out up here? So looking out from the kitchen, you know, you can you can definitely stand in the kitchen, see the ski runs, see the views. Uh, because, you know, there's so much space in this community, there are a ton of view corridors and open space in every direction. Um, and then, you know, through the community as well, there's four and a half miles of trails. So, you know, you always see people out there walking dogs, walking around the community. Um, like I said, it's a really lifestyle focused um, community. Yeah, now I notice it's, uh, this obviously is a brand new home, but it's furnished absolutely beautiful. Is there an option if somebody wanted to, they could buy it furnished? Yeah, so Thomasville um, out of uh, Salt Lake actually did the furnishings for us to get ready for the parade, um, or the showcase, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, if someone wanted to purchase the, the furniture as a package, I'm, I'm sure Thomasville would do a really good price on it. That's great. So, so tell me about how many bedrooms and bathrooms we're looking at here. Yeah, so the home has uh, four bedrooms plus one uh, flex room. So you've got the main level on the master, like I mentioned, it's a very kind of main level uh, living focused home. And then you've got the uh, three, three additional bedrooms downstairs with a flex room. So it could be five bedrooms, uh, could be five bedrooms with a playroom, that kind of thing. Yeah, so, so Park, City, Park City has got a diverse kind of uh, population there. Is this a location, is there a lot of uh, uh, people that this is a second home or this be considered like a main home or what would you consider this area? Right, so this could absolutely be a second home. Um, actually, interestingly, people love the woods of Polly's Lane as a primary home neighborhood uh, because, you know, the proximity to Salt Lake and uh, Park City, and you just, you really can't get that anywhere else and get the kind of um, uh, lifestyle that you get living here. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. So how many square feet are we looking at on this? You know, it's just over 4,500 square feet, uh, this home, which, you know, we found is, is a pretty good size for this price point. People, you know, don't want these massive homes anymore, but it's just enough to, uh, you know, get away and have some, some additional living areas throughout the house. Yeah, which I love. One thing I really love about Park City is how everybody integrates, like, their animals and pets and stuff. And I noticed that it has on there, it, it has a, a place to wash your dog, right? 
Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned, you know, four and a half miles through uh, through the community uh, that connects to 400 miles of Park City Trail. So, you know, Park City is a really uh, pet friendly uh, community. You know, the uh, one of the nicknames of Park City is Bark City, right? So um, the addition of the the, the dog wash in the garage is just kind of, is, you know, um, kind of a, uh, an ode to that. Yeah, which is great. I always love to go up there and see all the people enjoying their life and their dogs. It's such a, a beautiful area and, and there's such a, a unique style of living. So Ross, if somebody wanted to get some more information about this property, how would they reach out to you? So David can be contacted directly. Uh, his number is 435-901-0904 or the Woods of Polly's Lane website is thewoodsofpollyslane.com. So Lisa, I know you guys have been doing this forever. You're really good at it. What kind of what do you guys do differently than the other businesses that do this? So we do multiple systems for free. And that's huge. So if somebody had like two AC units or two furnaces or like two kitchen, you cover both of them at no more cost. Correct. That's huge. Yes, yes. And we also provide the same coverage for sellers as well. This is great. So if somebody is selling their house, they can take advantage of these same sort of uh, warranties and stuff. Yes, yes. the inversion up here in Salt Lake it's always a great time to go look at St. George and I've got John Ames who's uh, with the the Ames team and you're one of the pros down there so John tell me a little bit about this property and where it's located all right Jay hey this this property is what's called the Springs subdivision it was a subdivision that uh, had a lot of growth between 2003 and 2008 and this this neighborhood is not a spec build type house neighborhood these are very custom homes. Um, each house is unique. As you can see from this house, it has a front courtyard with a huge fountain. It has uh, elevated ceilings. It has coffered ceilings. Really, really nice data, updated amenities in this house, Jay. Yeah, as I can tell, as we're walking into the inside, they've got really tall ceilings and just and it looks like they've done some remodeling, right? Yeah, about two years ago, they spent uh, about $100,000 doing extensive remodel on the property. Um, including um, the interior parts of the, uh, the the kitchen and the master bedroom area, but more importantly is the fact that they did a major renovation in the backyard and completely built out a new pool, jacuzzi, putting green, outdoor fireplace, outdoor barbecue area with a huge covered patio. Yeah, that's it looks great. So tell me, is this home, would this be considered a, a, a primary residence or would this be like a secondary home or what would that look like? Yeah, you know, in this neighborhood, um, we have a lot of second home owners in this area. And the people that come down here looking for a property like this, Jay, a lot of times they'll say, you know, I'm looking for a getaway place. And within two to four years, they're saying, I want this to be my primary residence and I'm gonna move down here and then maybe commute back and forth to Salt Lake so they can enjoy the weather benefits down here in St. George versus being up there in the snow. Yeah, so what do you do if you buy a house that's not in an HOA though and you wanna set it up as a second home? You know, there's so many people that worry about that saying, I don't know how I take care of a house being in Salt Lake. It is really easy. We have a number of landscapers down here that will actually completely take care of the outside of your house, including pool, jacuzzi, all your plants, all your sprinkler maintenance, all your trimming, all of your weeds, all of your fertilization. That is turnkey and it's very affordable to have someone take care of a house like this for you. So all you do is literally come down and play versus coming down for the weekend and doing yard work. Yeah, that's great. So tell me about this home specifically. How many square feet and how many bedrooms are we looking at? This house is a 2,900 square foot house. It was built in 2003. It has uh, three bathrooms. It has 10 to 16 foot ceilings, Jay, as you saw, and it has some real nice amenities, including a, a concrete RV pad, 10 to 16 foot ceilings, uh, Italian tile, quartz countertops, hickory cabinets, and really, really nice views. 
I can see it's a, just a beautiful place to be. And of course, we're dealing with a bunch of inversion up here. I, I bet your phone rings off the hook uh, when we get bad weather in Salt Lake, right? I, I actually enjoy when, the, when you get the bad weather up there because I guarantee people here for the next four days saying, I'm done with the inversion. I want my house in St. George. The nice thing about St. George is only about four hours south of Salt Lake. And then if you want to go to the national parks, you're right there. Perfect for hiking during the winter. Or even if you want to jump down to Las Vegas, right? Yeah, you're less than two hours to Vegas. You're less than two hours to Grand Canyon. You can be up in Zion National Park in 45 minutes, enjoying the weather and hiking up there. You could be riding mountain bikes from this property or with numerous trails within 20 minutes of this. If you're into riding Harleys, side-by-sides, hiking, biking, this house will afford you all that lifestyle. You can be doing all of it within 15 or 20 minutes. And, and it also has a casita, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Yeah, they took part of the back of the garage, your real small portion of it, and built basically a small casita with a separate entrance so they can have friends come and go and use that little area. So this, basically the house has everything. It's got location, it's got style, and a place for your friends to come and stay. So John, if uh, somebody wanted more information about this, how would they contact you? Great, they can give us a call at 800-206-1003, or they can email us directly at aimsteam at sgremax.com. We were looking for a new home. Some were too big, some were too small, some were just wrong. Then, wow, we were in our dream home. Then the hard part started, all this paperwork. Luckily, we had Steve, a loan officer from Castle and Cook Mortgage on our side. Even though he's done this a thousand times, he knew we hadn't. He took care of everything, and fast, so we could focus on the things that really matter, like enjoying our new home. Castle and Cook Mortgage, the key to your castle. Most people aren't insurance experts. Shoot, most of the time they don't know what coverage they have or even who their agent is. It's okay, it's not your job to be an insurance nerd. It's mine, I even have the glasses and sweater vest. As your personal insurance nerd, my staff of nerds and I are excited and eager to get nerdy about your insurance. Your coverage is important and so is the price. We understand that. Let us get nerdy about the details. If you're looking for the cheapest price from some online company regardless of coverage, you've got the wrong nerd. Now, if you're looking for a personal relationship with a local insurance nerd who cares about covering you and your family and that your cat's name's Fluffy, I'm your nerd. Give us a call or shoot us an email. If we don't answer right away, it's because we're deep in the nerdiness with another client. Don't worry, we'll get right back to you. We always do. Kai Tanner, Farm Bureau Insurance. Okay, Clay, for this one, we're going to be heading down to Mapleton. And, of course, Mapleton is one of the crown jewels down in uh, southern New York County, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, just right there, just south of Springville. It's beautiful. It's secluded. It's yeah. kind of the, the, the place to be when you're down that south Utah County. That's right, because they're all yeah. on larger acres down there. Yes. And it's not, you know, some of the south county, you'll get into smaller acreage, inexpensive homes. But Mapleton is, uh, I think they're all on, like, half acre. Yeah. And so this is what you get into is farmhouses like this. It's fun to drive through Mapleton. There's just such beautiful country and area there and you get these beautiful homes just like this one yeah. that are really unique and have a lot of character too. And so this one was a built, originally built in 1973, but as you can see, they have completely done an absolutely beautiful remodel. Oh, they have. Yeah, yeah. you look at the cabinetry and the countertops and yeah. they've really gone all out on this one. And they've, they've done a big extension on it and uh, the, the, the finishes and everything they did on this, this is the best of both worlds because you've got animal rights on this property. So if you have a couple of yeah. horses, you can have chickens, turkeys, whatever you want to do. And then you walk inside and you've got your new modern farmhouse. Yeah. Cause that's kind of the style right now, right? It is. And, and what family hasn't dreamed of that? You know, having some animals there on the property and yeah. and this great, this just, look at that floor plan. And the design, so this the was, architecture and the ceiling is just incredible. This was an addition. A uh, former owner of this house was an artist and they wanted that new northern light to come in and so they built this extension onto it this beautiful room right here and and of course then they decked it out with all those uh, really nice furnishings and stuff and so it, it's 
I, I'm a really big fan of this house. I yeah. mean, this is one, and I think it's a tremendous value. It's only $114 a square foot. And I love the wood tones they put throughout this, and just the, you know, the wainscoting and some different things that they've done here that are just, give it a lot of class and yeah. uh, really make it eye popping. So this is when, when we first took this listing, one of the problems they had is they had remodeled the whole thing except for the master bath. And they didn't uh -huh. have a very big closet. And so as we went and looked at the house, they said, everything is amazing, but your master bath does match the rest of the mm -hmm. house. And so, and look at this, here's a little deck off the master <laughs> bedroom that he looks out over the I valley. Love that. Isn't that yeah. great? Yeah, as it looks over the property, yeah, you see the animals those out there and the mountains, yeah. And so take a look at this. We just, they just finished this beautiful remodel of this uh, bathroom. Oh, and what yeah. we did is we took one of the bedrooms that was right next to it and turned that into a huge master closet. Such a, such a necessary thing in today's market, right? And yeah. They, they just really did this right too. Yeah, and so they did this beautiful remodel. It took us a couple weeks to get it done, but it was, you know, the rest of the house was done. It was perfect and immaculate. And that's what it was missing is just this one last piece. So now it's come back up on the market and it's ready to go. This is going to be looking in some of the kids' bedrooms that are upstairs, which are so cute. Dar. Yeah. 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 Just some great design that they did there. Yep. Yeah, look at uh, this is going to be more of the bed, all those mature trees, which I kind of love mature trees. You do. Yeah. It gives you some great shade, gives it, just makes it, the overall market appeal and curb appeal is, is significantly improved with that mature landscaping. And this is going to be down, this is going to be more of the remodel, it's going to be down in the basement here. As you can see, they've got a nice little family room, they've got another couple bedrooms down here. Yeah, nice uh, kitchenette, yeah. yeah. Really great stuff. Uh-huh. And so this one, like I said, it's only $114 a square foot. It's on almost an acre. Uh, it's in, It lays out really nice. It, the neighbors next to it have horses. So if you wanted to keep horses, mm -hmm. you could possibly board them there on your house or you could put it on yours. There's a really nice aerial view. Look at that oh, beautiful landscaping. That. Yeah. It's got plenty of room. If you, even if you want to put horses back in the back corner back here, they'd fit in there great. They would. Yeah, and this is... I'm a big fan. If this only, I of course have to be centrally located in the Salt Lake Valley, but this would be a house that would be fun to live in, you know? And everybody, the, the, the great thing about this is the community feel and the support that you get down here too, uh -huh. with just a lot of the great traditions that they have in this community and some of the outings they have. And it's just, there's a real strong community there in Mapleton and Springfield. And this is just fits right in with that whole property. What a great layout. Kate Clay, for this one, we're going up on the side of the mountain in Draper, which is, everybody knows where Draper is, right? Oh, well, I was just there mountain biking. Yeah, yeah. I love that area. They have great mountain biking trails. The best. Too. They really do. Yeah. Their, their infrastructure of their city, they've done a really good job. And now take a look at this one. It's right on the corner with a circular driveway. And this is a house, as you look at this one, this particular house was drawn and designed specifically around this lot. Yeah, you know, I just, you know, I'm just sitting here with this smile on my face as we're looking at this, Jay, because I love the way they laid this property out. If you're design. looking for a custom home that's up in Draper, right against the mountains, as you can see, you're, you're right there. Uh, this is it. And uh, as we go inside, you're going to see it's it really got a cool floor plan as you walk in. So you walk in, you see the circular stairways, that kind of, mm -hmm. the walks around, uh, the wraps around and goes up. And then they got French doors that go kind of into your... Uh, your entertaining area. I area. love that design. I love that feature in a home. When you have those French doors right inside like that, it yeah. kind of opens it up and lets a ton of light move throughout the property. And so they've got a, a kitchen in here. And one of the struggles with this particular house is the size of the kitchen. But we've got a way where we're going to open up that kitchen. We've already got it figured in. We're going to make some changes to that kitchen and kind of make it expansive mm -hmm. and kind of open it up. And it you definitely gonna make have a the room to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's got plenty of room, yeah. and it's got this really cool entertaining area. And we're going to make those changes to that to that kitchen and make it bigger, you know, because mm -hmm. people want a lot really big kitchen. So we're going to move the way that island sits and kind of move it into the room. I can which visualize is gonna, that. Yeah, yeah, and kind of make it that that bar so it goes more on an angle, mm -hmm. so it opens it up, which would be great. Now the cool thing is because this is up on the on the mountain and looking over the valley, those windows that you see right there, it's hard to get video of that but it looks over the whole valley oh. and it's got a deck off the back that's just absolutely amazing so even on the main floor without even going upstairs you've got this beautiful view off the back of the whole lot back of the house and going upstairs you can see they've got tons of just kind of living area this is the master look at that view. oh yeah doors and the windows and the little deck right there isn't that something it is yeah 
a big, huge, a master uh, bedroom, master closet is massive, master uh, bath is. And they've got one of the challenges on this house also is it, it still has white carpet, which, mm -hmm. you know, that was popular a few years ago. Uh, but we've got planned and we're going to put in new carpet through the whole oh, thing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. But we're kind of waiting. Our thought is, do we put the carpet in or do we wait for the buyer to come in and choose they it. pick out the carpet? Choose the carpet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. And so we've been kind of holding off on it a little bit, but it'll make a big drift in because, you know, carpet, white was, it's so hard to keep that white. It's, white. So, it's so pretty, yeah. right? Yeah. It's so pretty. But yeah, I can say it's, it's hard to keep it that white like you want to. Yeah. So we got to figure it out. We've been going back and forth whether we change it out now or whether we wait. But I th I'm, I'm holding out trying to hope to see the buyer comes in and they want to make it the color and style that they want. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I Which do. would be ideal. And there, and there we are. So this is going to be an office which is right on the main floor that steps right out onto this beautiful deck. Oh. Now think this is the math. This is the main floor right here. Uh -huh. That's the upstairs. Okay, this is down. Again, a walkout basement, which is so nice. Love that. Yeah. yeah. Got to have that, right? They did it right, too. You know, nice decking, nice materials that were used on that in the process, and great backyard. Yeah. And so this one, really good property, and we can make some subtle changes to just make it amazing. The last time we moved, the process took a lot longer than I thought, and I lost a bunch of my stuff. I just don't want to go through that again. Don't worry, Zippy Shell to the rescue. Now Zippy Shell is a proven nationwide company that is fully licensed and insured. And we bring our shell to your house where you can load it or we can load it for you. And once the container is full, you put a lock on it and we take it to our climate controlled and secure warehouse. There we wrap your containers to make your belongings more secure prior to shipping. And your possessions never leave that container until you unload it at your new home. So there's no chance of anything getting lost. And your price is guaranteed on the front end. No last minute surprises. And that's what Zippy Shell is. Portable storage and moving made simple. Contact us through ZippyShell.com and tell them Zippy Girl sent you. So Clay, for this one, we're going to be handing it up to Daniel Summit, which is one of the premier locations, right? If you want to yes. go snowmobiling, right? Yeah, there's so much activity up there to do as yeah. far as, yeah. And if so, you want to go yeah. fishing, yeah. strawberries Strawberry is just right down the road. And, yeah. yeah. And so we're going to be looking, this is going to be, well, they consider it Daniel Summit. It's right up at the top and right across the road there. You can rent snowmobiles and go right around. You can rent four wheelers and runner. And it's a year round type of destination. And this particular property is a massive cabin. I mean, you can it's tell got, that. You're looking yeah. at that. Yeah. I mean, they put a lot into this property and it's right there by all the national parks. I mean, and so you actually own part of it. They're on uh, just about an acre of land, as you can see. And there's the there's the road going right up there to uh, oh, yeah. Strawberry. Yep. And right across, that's where you rent all your, your snowmobiles and everything. That's like a year round. I've business. done that. Yeah. I've done I've ridden my four wheelers on those trails. I've ridden snowmobiles in the wintertime. And it's just amazing country in there. Yeah. And so what if you had yourself a massive cabin oh, right yeah. across the street? And we're going to go right under here. And so we're going to be looking on this one at $1.8 million, but it's it's 9,106 square feet. It's got seven bedrooms. It's got five full bath, uh, five full and two three-quarter baths. That's a lot. Wow, this this property just has so much opportunity with it, Jay. It it's, really got, does. it's got an eight-car garage. <laughs> yeah. And, and so this is a unique property. And they can, as you can tell, it's they've, they've really put a lot into it, and it's perfect. I mean, a log cabin. Do you know how much it oh, costs to yeah. build one of these? What a great family reunion or gathering place, you know? I mean, it's so much room and, and what a perfect location. It yeah. really is. And they even did all the banisters and everything right there in wood. And so you just kind of matched everything. The the way that they did the, the ceiling, you know, the uh, chandelier and everything, the kitchen just lays out. I mean, it's, I mean, if you wanted to have a log cabin, I mean, they are really, really expensive to build. The amount of wood that it takes to build wood's very, very mm -hmm. expensive. And yeah. then the labor to be able to do it and to be able to get something like this. So you're going to be looking at it about $197 a square foot. Uh, but this is, 
And I mean, you can do a lot with this. Well, thing. it's so perfectly conforming for this area. And if you, as you go through this from room to room, it just kept the flow and the feel very consistent, very appropriate for this type of a property and the location that it's at. Yeah. And so uh, obviously they're right there by uh, Daniel Summit. So you went to National Forest. Forest. They've done a lot of ton, a ton. They've got a, a 70 foot swing outside. Um, at, again, they've got an eight car garage. Uh, the basement's 93% finished. It's on just under an acre. And this one, it, it, you know, obviously it's not going to appeal to everybody. Because I don't know, you know, would this yeah. be a second home almost? Be, it could be a first, it could be a second home. It, right it could be either way, but it, there's just, like I said, so much opportunity. And the acre is just perfect. You don't have too much to maintain, but yet you're right in the middle of everything that you want to do outdoors. You have a lot of public access all the way around there yeah. on different things that you can do uh, from outdoor activities. And so... It's really an ideal property that you could use a number of different ways, in all honesty. Yeah, and so, and you can see the, the way they finished it out, they used a lot of uh, top end finishes, really nice. And I, you know, I really like to fish up there. And I yeah. used to take, I used to pull my motor home with my boat up that hill there and, and go fishing on Strava. And it was, it was great times. So. There's not a better trolling place in this state, I'm yeah. convinced. If you love to do some troll fishing with your boat, there's just not a better place. Yeah, they've got a place right near there where the salmon, the kokanee salmon come up in the, in the fall, like October time. It, it looks like here in Alaska because they, they get that hunchback, uh -huh. that orange look, and they're just coming up the, and that's right there. And one of the unique things about Strawberry, what's made it this really great place, basically it's a year around resort because you got great fishing, then you got ice fishing, then you got your snowmobiling, You've got your four wheeling, you got your, your mountain biking, you got yeah. everything right here. But Strawberry Unique, what they've done is when the fish go up to spawn, what they do is they catch the fish and they take all the eggs out of them and then they hatch them and they keep them separate of each other. And that's why, and then they slowly release them as they get big enough. So they make sure there aren't too many, there aren't any big fish in there. So they just make sure they're all the same size in each of the different bins. And so they're, once they get big enough, then they release them back out into there. So it's a natural, it's yeah. a fishery. And so they're the most beautiful fish that are out there. And the best tasting. They yeah. are so they seriously are the best tasting. Because you know, that water is cold. It's cold and it's just, it's amazing. Every time I catch fish out of there, I look forward to eating those later on. And I just love all the attention to detail they put into this property. When we're looking at all the timber works and the, and the roof and the ceiling, the stairs, the banister, everything about it. And look at this, even this, the accent right down here in the basement. Just yeah. really classic. That's the home that. theater right there that you can see through the doors there. And this is kind of a massive just opening. This is inside oh, yeah. the home theater. Got the elevated got, floor yeah. right Again, there. Again, tons of wood. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in the basement, they they didn't spare any expense. Even the doors are all wood. I mean, like the cost of replacement on this house would probably be close to double this cost. Yeah. It really would. Yeah. Because you're going to make a log cabin. You're going to spend a lot of money.